Hey, all you cool cats and kittens out there. Uh, real quick, today your job, your task might be to be draw isometrics of them. You could use isometric paper. You could also, if you wanted to, use the top right corner of the multi-view paper that does have isometric paper ready for you to go. First thing I would do, we're going to draw yellow first. I quickly made a model. You may find that using a mile model makes it a little easier for you guys to kind of keep things together and in perspective. So I'm going to move my little eraser out of the way. Remember, we're going to draw it on an angle, which is always difficult. So we can take any one of these sort of surfaces to start with. I'm going to start up here, or edge, I guess I should say. And I'm going to just draw two because I see it's too high. Then I see it go in, down, back out, down. And now it's going to go one, two, three, four across. So it goes four across the total bottom here. Now I'm going to go up one and now in one, up one, out one, up. And then it looks like one, two, three, up, and there you go. I kind of drew, so even a, a hint might be to kind of turn it a little bit on its side. And you can kind of see that I just drew the surface. Now at the top, I have a square and a rectangle. So I'm going to do the square. I'll do the rectangle. I see on the side that I have a rectangle. I have a square but you don't see much of it. And I have another square. I do have this surface here, so I'll draw that in. And I'll add that line. So there you go. I have that piece drawn. I'm going to move over to my red piece. I'm going to quickly make the model here. Just give me a moment to finish that up. And I believe that is what the red piece looks like. So you can easily pause the video, make the model if you want to. This one is going to be a little bit trickier. So I'm going to hold it here and I'll start drawing. I'll start here. And it looks like it goes in, then down, in and down, over two, up one, in one, up three over one, down one, over two. So as you see, I drew the face right here. At the top, I know I have this single square. I have this square too. I just need one line to complete it. I have this face here. And then these are all, and there you go. I've drawn this isometric for the red. You may find, like I said, it's easier than the other work that we've done before. I would color these. Remember, red for the right side, green for the front, blue like the sky. Alrighty, let's get her done.